Hello and welcome, it's KB here. I think it's time for us to switch to Linux or at least start learning Linux because Windows is getting worse and worse every single day. In this video, that's what we are going to talk about, the downfall of Windows 11. And I'm not even kidding, I have already switched to Linux in one of my Windows laptop that I bought about like five to six years ago. And it is actually decent computer. It has uh, i7, seventh gen, eight gigabytes of RAM. It even has a uh, dedicated GPU, NVIDIA 1050 Ti. I'm not even kidding. Windows 11 on this machine is unusable. And soon that is going to be the case for most people out there with their x86 PCs. Um, okay, we, we're going to talk about that uh, as we go through this video. But yeah, I have started learning Linux. I have also installed some, you know, programs like uh, Android emulator in here called Waydroid or something. And it is, it is, you know, it, it, the, the, the Linux in this machine runs like butter, like 100 times better. If I use Windows 11 on this thing, it runs like shit. Yeah, on my main machine, I'm still using Windows 11 and I have optimized it to work well with my main machine. So it's 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 running good, okay? I'm not gonna say that Windows 11 isn't like good because I am actually using it. I kind of like it. At the same time, I also don't like it. I'm afraid of Windows 11's future updates and its new features. Right now, I think Windows 11 is usable, but in future, I'm not too sure about that. So I'm securing myself by learning the Linux. Yeah, I might even make a video series of Linux experience. And hopefully with this series, I'll be able to share with you guys my Linux experience and all the ups and downs and everything, you know. So now let's talk about the real deal. As you know, Windows 11's system requirements are already like crazy. Now, if we look at the OS market share, it looks like people don't really like Windows 11. Yeah, the people are still sticking to Windows 10, even though in 2025, Windows 10 will be officially dead because Microsoft is ending the support for Windows 10. Only 25% are using Windows 11. Look at this chart. Windows 11 slowly going up and down and up, up, up. A 27, 28. Now it's going downhill starting from uh, 2024 from 28% to 26 straight down now we are at the 25 so maybe some people actually you know decided to upgrade to windows 11 from windows 10 and they didn't really like it and they just downgraded their system and went back to windows 10 remember windows xp it was a successful and really popular windows version remember windows vista it was failure. Windows 7, it was successful. Windows 8, failure. Windows 10, successful. Windows 11, it's not completely failure yet because 25% are still using this. But I think the next version of Windows 11 will change everything. Maybe it will be successful or maybe it will be a failure. I'm leaning towards failure because Windows 11 is not getting better. Rather, it is getting more features. There are hardly any differences between Windows 10 and 11. There are a few differences in design, plus the new start menu and taskbar at the center. To be honest, I like this. But still, this is nothing new. It's still Windows 10 from inside, but with the worse performance. You may have seen this tweet from Andrew Yang. He's a Microsoft X employee. In this tweet, he criticizes the Windows 11's search. Look at him trying to use the search, Windows 11 search. <laughs> it's not working. Yeah, Windows 11 is worse than Windows 10 in terms of performance. Almost everybody knows about this. Now, in coming few months, we're going to have new version of Windows 11 called Windows 11 24H2. With that, we will see a new era of PCs. They are called, uh, hold on a second, <laughs> AI PC or AI powered PCs. AI is for everyone. Yeah, I get it. But guess what? All these AI features won't be available for most of the existing users because you don't have a AI powered 
CPU. Unless you recently bought the CPU with NPU on them, the Neuro Processing Unit for AI stuffs. So this new AI PC stuff is not exciting for existing users unless you want to buy them. <laughs> okay, so what are you gonna do with your old PC? Just throw away? I mean, if you can spend money on CPU, you can buy the new CPU with the AI chip on them, NPU thingy, and just simply switch the CPU. Yeah, but for most people, I don't think this is a good news. Even I can't afford to get a new AI powered CPUs. And with the Windows 11 24H2, we are also going to see a huge improvement or at least we are going to finally see a Windows on ARM. Now there will be two types of Windows, Windows x86 one and Windows ARM one. And you'll probably be confused for few years which one to buy because because there will be some features only available to windows arm and again if you can you can have both <laughs> okay so here we have a news about the new system requirements for windows 11 arm only if you want to use ai features it is called ai explorer so according to some rumors these are the system requirements for this obviously this is for arm so you'll need a ARM processor, probably Snapdragon 1 and minimum 16 gigabytes of RAM. You know, the normal Windows 11 RAM system requirement is 8 gigabyte. Now it's 16 gigabytes. I think the new AI PCs will also have this system requirement. Like you'll need minimum 16 gigabytes of RAM if you want to use AI features and whatnot. So I'm pretty sure about that. And minimum storage, 225 gigabyte this is not free storage this is for the ai stuffs that is going to get into windows 11 later this year in windows 11 24h2 so the ai features in windows 11 will take this much space so according to the rumors it is called ai explorer which will have all the ai features i guess and all these new ai features again will not be available for existing users unless if you have the npu neural processing unit on your CPU. For existing Windows users, it is not a good news unless somehow the Windows 11 24H2 brings some improvements in, in performance and everything. Maybe, yeah, it's a good news. But otherwise, like if we want to use all the new features that is coming into the Windows 11 24H2, forget about them. Yeah, we can't use it. At least I can't use it. <laughs> I can't <laughs> use any of the new AI stuffs in my PC because it doesn't have the NPU so yeah and I don't think I can buy the new PC anytime soon so yeah that's that time to switch to Linux or maybe Microsoft is working on Windows 12 we had some rumors and leaks about the Windows 12 but no matter what I have already started my Linux journey okay I'm deep into it I'm gonna fully understand Linux and fully learn Linux actually on this machine I have already switched to Linux okay again as I said on this machine Windows 11 runs like shit let's see I'll probably make a few videos about my Linux experience so yeah that's that again yeah Windows 11 24h2 will be the decider of Windows 11's future so yeah just gonna wait for that update and let's see what happens yeah for now that's it hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or you want to discuss about this topic you can always do the comment and yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.